Hi there, my name's Vince from My Mate Vince, and in this video today we have something that I just couldn't resist. I was shown a picture of this by Stuart from Infinite Bargains, and he said, would I be interested? As soon as I seen a picture of this, I couldn't say no, and you'll see why. How good does he look? You ready? Look at that. You gotta admit, come on. That as a thumbnail alone, who would not click on that? Now, Stuart did say that the battery contacts were corroded, so this belonged to his sister, I think about 20 years ago. And he said he cleaned the battery contacts with vinegar, but it's still not working. Well, do you know what? They don't look that bad at all, so that's good news. So, it's going to take some surgery to get into him. I presume we have to unstitch this here and uh, take out the insides from there. So that's going to be a bit of work involved, but you know what? It should be quite fun. It'd be nice to see him work at the end of the video. Now, this is going to be a tea break repair. I don't actually know how long it's going to take, but I'll edit it up to about a 15 minute video. In this particular video, I am drinking some, something I've never had before. I'm drinking it out of my Kip Hakes mug. I am drinking this ginger cordial. And it's got a right kick to it. It actually says that you can have it with hot water for a hot toddy or dilute one to 10 for ginger beer. And you know, I've gone through my whole life. I don't think I've ever had a ginger beer, which is, uh, which is odd. Maybe it's not really a UK thing, but yeah, I've never had a ginger beer. I'm quite enjoying it. It's got a nice little kick to the back of my throat. So pause the video, go get yourself a nice drink and let's see if we can get Mr. Gorilla working again. That's very odd how they've done that, look. Battery that way, battery that way with the spring there. That doesn't seem right, does it? The spring's on the wrong side. Well, let's uh, put it in as the thing shows us. It's not doing anything that way. You know what? I'm uh, not really happy with that. How else would... Hmm, I suppose I'm not gonna know until I take it apart. Let's just put the batteries in this way, just in case the thing was designed wrong. No. So Stuart has an eBay shop. I'll flash it up on screen now. So check it out and if you like what you see, you can buy and then that will uh, help Stuart out. He helps out this channel a lot by sending stuff in. So uh, yeah, that's all good. Now, this was owned by Stuart's sister. I think he said it was uh, around about 20 years ago. And she doesn't know it's been sent here. So, uh, well, she doesn't know it's been found. It was found up in the attic. So it'd be quite nice to get it working again. I'm sure it will bring back good memories for uh, for Stuart and the sister. All right, let's see what's happening in here. All right, definitely see little bits of corrosion and vinegar and stuff left in there. And what's happening here now? So let's put the batteries in as as advertised. And now let's measure voltage on this bit here. Well, we have got three volts there. So now the switch, how can we tell? Let's take the batteries out. Let's see if that switch, maybe it's a dodgy switch because corrosion has got all in here, isn't it? Which so at the moment we're off. Oh, so it goes from there and it just joins up this contact with the blue wire. So if you zoom, if I zoom in here, can you see it's not actually connected through? Yeah, it needs to be on there. So let's see if the switch is working. Let's put the batteries back in. And we are gonna have voltage here and here, but have we got it on the actual switch? So voltage here. Why haven't we got voltage there? Yeah, we had, there you go, three volts. But now have we got it on the wire, on the blue wire going away? No, 0.3, are we on? No, right, let's turn it on. Does that bring it up to here? No, it doesn't, 0.6. We should have more than that, shouldn't we? Well, there you go. We've got no power going into it. But at the same time, if we're supposed to move around the uh, 
like Stuart said, the, the, the neck doesn't feel very good when you push that up and down, doesn't feel, doesn't feel right. Right, I'm going to unsolder these and I'm going to give everything a real good clean with vinegar, first of all, and then uh, IPA. Let's get this bit sorted here to begin with. I'm just going to take a picture off here so I know where the red and the blue wire goes. Right, so I'm going to be putting some white vinegar over it all and then when I've done with the white vinegar, I'm going to be washing it all off with some isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to wear gloves. I think now, because this has gone smaller, that I will be actually able to wear gloves on this hand. Feels funny. I'm going to chop that finger off. I want to be careful that I don't get this vinegar near his fur. So let me just dribble a bit down here and I use a, a brass bristle, a brass bristle brush to get rid of it. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Brass bristle. So I'm using the white vinegar because it will neutralize the alkaline that came out of the batteries because vinegar is an acid. Trying to remove all the horrible old uh, remains here of the solder and the, the corrosion. So you can see it fizzing up nicely where it meets the old alkaline. So we know the problems with the switch, but I'm just trying to get rid of a bit of corrosion from these uh, terminals. And I'm going to flood the whole area now with some isopropyl alcohol. Hopefully by doing this some of it will work its way into the switch. I think the switch is quite bad on the inside. Well, you can see the alcohol or vinegar coming out of the switch is quite discolored. So I say there is a bit of corrosion in here. So I'm going to add some more because I kind of want that as clean as possible. You would be able to actually take the switch apart if you unsoldered that big lump there, and then there's going to be little metal things that wrap around the bottom. So you would be able to get it apart. It's just that it can be a bit fiddly sometimes getting them back together because they're not made to be dismantled. There you go, look at that. There we go, it's coming out good now. Right, let's cut back the wires. I've got to cut back a bit because you see the corrosion travels up the wires via capillary action. Yeah, there we go, they're clean.
Well, that's gone into that very nicely. Now let's see, would it go onto this little part of the switch? Yeah, I think I'm going to clean that lot of solder off and then uh, the next one should get it okay. There we go. Right now, so that is soldered back on there and it's a lot cleaner than it was. So let's try to put this back together, pop the batteries in, see if it behaves any differently. Right, turn them on. Guess what, I uploaded this video to YouTube in its original format and I got done with a copyright claim. I mean, I don't own the song Macarena, so I understand that. Why anybody would want to listen to this version of it rather than the original, I don't know. But the system picked it up, so uh, there's nothing I can do about that. So every time you see this gorilla dance from this moment forward, then uh, it will have no audio. I'll just be chopping those bits out of the video. Apologies for that. The Macarena does actually suit this Gorilla dancing to it. It uh, sounds and looks pretty good. But as I mentioned at the end of the video, it grates on you after about three minutes. So to be fair, you're not really missing out on much. <laughs> His head works. Right, okay, that is still, switch is very hard to move though. And I don't think that's the corrosion. I think it's just uh, the switch is cheaply made. Right, thing is he worked there without me hitting his head. So let, let it go through this, uh, the song. Right, good. Oh, is he voice activated? Oh, come on. I just, just realised how rude that may look from above. <laughs> and from the front. <laughs> okay, right. Yes, yeah, it's sound activated, isn't it? Does that not make him unusable? Apologies, the video's all over the place now because I keep talking while the song's playing. I might even get another copyright strike on this. I might have to just do a massive voiceover. Anyway, the, uh, the Gwitta seems to work via sounds, like sound activated from clapping or talking loudly, and also vibration. So I thought it was when you hit his head. It's not, you can hit him anywhere. You can like hit him on the leg and he will go off. So uh, he's quite sensitive to going off. Uh, probably a bit like one of those fishes that you used to have on the wall. Same sort of era as this, maybe 20 years ago. You know, every time you, you know, Billy the Bass or whatever, every time you go past it, it would start singing Take Me to the River. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Good news is, look, the switch is working 100%, so watch this. Bad news is, I think the switch should be more accessible because he's so sensitive to going off. I can't imagine anybody would leave this done up because, uh, yeah, it just it just goes off way too easy. Anyway, let's uh, change location and finish up the vid. Right, maybe I've been a little bit harsh on Mr. Gorilla because in normal use, he doesn't actually keep going off. I mean, I'm quite close to him now. And even if I speak loudly like this, he still doesn't go off. It works if I was to whack the settee or if I was to wobble him because he works by movement or also if I was to clap in front of him, make a loud noise, then he will also go off. Now, I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with him. I'll be honest with you, I'd already finished up this video, but I had it playing about four more times on the last bit and uh, editing that up, I can't take it. So I'm having, <laughs> I'm having to do the end bit again. I love the look of, oh God, oh God, <laughs> shut up. I love the look of him, I just can't take that anymore. I'll tell you what it, it's, it's reminding me of. Playing Ghostbusters on the Atari 2600, the first time you hear the theme tune, you think it's amazing. But when you've played it for more than five minutes, you actually can't take it. And that's how I feel with Mr. Gorilla here. So you, so I just, I, I don't think, I think if somebody bought this for their child, then uh, I think the batteries would be 
getting removed very, very quickly. So I love the look of him, but that's as far as it goes. Big thank you to Stuart for sending it out to me, I think. <laughs> and uh, I hope you got some enjoyment from the video and I hope he hasn't annoyed you too much. If you have, give it a massive thumbs up and I will see you all very soon. Oh, right, see you later.